This will be your first and last video on how to upload on GitHub. Welcome to Code Alpha and I am Taha Siddiqui. And if you are starting your coding journey right now, this video will change everything for you. First understand this truth. You can write the best code in the world. But if it's not on the GitHub, it doesn't exist. No GitHub profile and recruiters will skip your resume in 5 seconds. That's why today I am showing you GitHub desktop. The easiest way to manage your code professionally without touching a single command. By the end of this video, you will be successfully set up GitHub desktop completely. Create your first repository, upload your projects like a professional developer and start building your portfolio today. I'll be also explaining that how to upload from GitHub desktop VS code. Before we jump into the tutorial, let me explain why GitHub is absolutely important. Reason number one is your professional portfolio. When we apply for internships uh, uh, or jobs, we use GitHub as a proof that we can code. Companies don't just uh, hear, I know Python. They want to see our projects, our efforts. Reason number two is version control. Imagine you are working in a project, make changes and suddenly everything breaks. With GitHub, you can get back your previous work. You can get back your previous working in just one click. No stress, no pen. Reason number three is collaboration is the most important. Real world projects are built by teams. GitHub is how professional developers works. You need to learn this now. And I will be over explaining in this video. Like GitHub is just like uh, learning how to brush your teeth. I will be explaining that how to pick up your brush, how to clean it, how to put the toothpaste on it, and how to brush your teeth properly. And honestly, if you don't understand and this over explanation, you have to immediately give up on your coding because AI is already replaced you and you are just waiting. So now we will start by learning how to create an account on the GitHub. So first you have to understand why GitHub. Imagine this, you are building amazing projects but your code is all over the place. GitHub helps you keep everything organized. You can create repositories for your projects, track changes in your code, collaborate with friends, teammates or colleagues and revert to older versions when you, when you make mistakes. So it's, it's, it's like having a superpower for your programming workflow. So, I will be creating a, a sign in you have to if you are doing uh, for the first time you have to create an account you have to click on sign in to github and just continue with google okay so they will ask you to sign in with your google account and your account is created and you will be on this page okay so now uh, I will be telling you the common beginner challenges Many beginners face a problem while setting up the GitHub. Sure, creating an account is easy, but connecting it to your local computer using command line can be tricky. Nowadays, GitHub prefers SSH over HTTPS, which means generating SSH keys, adding them to your account and configuring your computer. That get confusing if you are just starting out. So don't stress out. I will be teaching you in very basic form so you can learn everything and this will be your first and last video on github how to upload on github i will be explaining in that much simple way so for beginners here is the solution github desktop you have to search github desktop on your uh, chrome browser or uh, which browser you are using so this Desktop app makes interacting with GitHub super easy. No command line stress. You can clone repositories, commit and push code changes, see differences between versions and all in visual form. Like you have to, uh, you have not to write any course in uh, VS Code like git in, uh, in it and git commit like uh, all of that stuff. So see differences between versions. Okay. All in a visual beginner friendly interface. Perfect if you want to focus on coding rather than memorizing commands. So for downloading the GitHub desktop, I'll be click on the download for Windows because I'm using Windows and it will 
B start downloading you can see it is 173 MB and the internet speed is fast so it will be downloaded okay so now you can see our github desktop is downloaded okay so step one was go to desktop.github.com slash download and you if you are on Mac click the download button for Mac OS okay that here it is so Windows user will see their version automatically this is automatic if you are using Mac it will be automatic here okay to download it is around like uh, if you can see it it is around 173 MB so once downloaded open the installer drag it to your applications folder on Mac and run the installer on Windows so next open the github desktop and sign in with your github account so if you don't have one you can create uh, also from here okay so it's fast and free just like signing up for Facebook you have to click on sign in uh, with github so it is automatically authorizing github desktop okay and you have to click on it uh, continue and you have to click on authorize desktop so the pop-up has appeared and I have to click on open github desktop.exe so now it is signing in we are uh, asking my name and uh, I am finishing so now once github desktop is open you will see options like create a tutorial repository skip this okay and create a new repository here you can see and clone a repository add an existing repository from local computer so what does cloning means cloning means copying a repository from github to local computer this is useful if a friend or teammate shares a project with you and let's clone an example repository so what you have to understand what a repository means like if uh, I create a new folder in my computer this is a folder and this is not that I can't share it with my friends and colleagues okay so the github is the online platform that you can create new folders this is new folders on the internet and this is the new folder on your local computer okay so that's new for uh, creating folders on the internet it is a official of uh, Microsoft so what does cloning means cloning means copying a repository means folder from github to local computer like if you are creating a folder like this code alpha task is on the internet and I want this this task on my local computer so this means cloning it okay copying the repository URL and cloning it into github desktop so how can you clone it so you have to clone a repository and click I'll be first showing you that how to create a new repository so you have to click on like if we create a new repository on you have to click on this plus icon and new repository and you have to name the repository so I will be naming it power bi projects power bi projects you can name anything okay and just create a new repository so a new folder will be created so now if we open github desktop and I refresh it you can see the power bi projects is uh, mm, showing up so here you can see clone you can see power bi projects. i click on it and here a pop-up ap appears so it is saying clone a repository means downloading the repository the folder from the internet to your local computer and where it should be uh, downloaded here's the path so you can choose your path I am choosing like uh, my folder here I and select it okay and I will be click on clone so it is downloading from the internet and it is downloaded okay so if I see uh, I go to this project section you can see here are the 
the folder. This is the same folder and dot get is initialized automatically. When I will move to the VS code, how to upload on uh, VS code, I will be clearing this confusion that why, what is the logic behind dot get, okay? So be patient and sync my words in your brain because if you don't learn, you will be watching tutorials every day because if you are a coder, you have to you have to upload on Git on GitHub every day. Okay, in the first section there is current repository means we are in dot Udemy projects and Power BI. We are in the same folder like this. Okay, and here it is current branch like it is selected main. And if you are a beginner, you have to always upload on the main. And this is published branch means if you have made any changes in it, you have to publish it. So now I am uploading my Power BI projects in this. Like I have these Power BI projects. Like if I, I will, wh what I will, I will copy this project and I will go to this folder and I will just paste my folder. Okay. Here you can see it, uh, the project. This is the project. Okay. This is the data and this is the um, report which I have created. So now if I open GitHub desktop, you can see the project is here. And it is, you can see it is green. Why it is green? Because it is only added on your local computer. We have downloaded a new folder from the internet and this is now on our local computer. Okay. So here it is a summary. Like what is this? I will be naming it first Power BI project. And like I will just write first. And you can see now the button is appeared. Commit four files to main. I'll be clicking on it and if you are confused what commit is be patient and watch this video carefully so they are saying that select a branch so we are selecting main and now we are moved to publish so just click on publish branch now you can see it is publishing and fetching origin so what fetch is like you can see here it is lost fetched just now so what does that mean i have clicked on it and it is hang on last fetched just now so what's the difference between it fetching means like if i uh, explain it to you with an example like if you are in office if you are in office you are doing work for your boss on your computer on in the office computer now you came home and now the boss ordered you to make some changes in the project now how will you access the computer in your office now you came home and uh, you want to access the data which you have uh, worked on the office so you will have click on this fetch origin and it will what will it do it will download the data and uh, uh, the folder will be cloned on your local computer which uh, you will have be having on uh, your uh, what you can say in your ho home so if I refresh it and that's it you can see all our data is being shown in this like you see all our data is being shown like this project is uploaded and that's it how simple it was but i explained in very long format so you not get confused okay now i will be moving towards how to upload from VS code and what's the logic how it is uploaded like if I explain you to like if I 
go to this and I copy this another project copy and I again go to this folder and paste this project and let's see what project it was and if I see like this is another uh, project of the Power BI and the GitHub desktop is automatically connected. I will be naming it second project. Okay. And you can see commit sand files to me. Okay. So I will be clicking on sand files to me. And now it is saved in your local computer. Now I will be push origin and I'll be explaining the logic behind it. So you can see it is pushing. So now I'll be refreshing it. And uh, you can see here it is. And you can see the project is live now. Now you are become professional in how to use GitHub. So I will shift now to Visual Studio. Teaching you how to upload GitHub from your VS Code. So now I am opened my uh, VS Code and I will be opening a folder like which project I want to upload. Like I want to upload these two Excel projects and I will be clicking on select. So I will be going to your three dots and on the terminal and new terminal. So now the terminal is being opened and you are you should be having the same folder which you want to upload like I want to upload these two projects. I will be initializing the first command. First I will explain what this command means. You can see git init. This initializes a new empty git repository in your current directory. So I will be writing git init and enter it. Now you can see initialized empty git repository in the folder. And you can see that these two becomes green. Why it is green? because it is on our local computer. So this is how you have to uh, upload from the VS Code. You need all these commands. Here you can see these commands, okay? So this is the link which you will be using. You have to copy this link and be replacing with this, okay? Replace it and copy all of this and Control C and Control V here and just push it. So now you can see that the our Excel project is live. And if it is showing any errors, the last command is git push origin master. You have to copy these commands and uh, paste it here and your project will be live. Okay. So these are the all commands which you need. The git init initialize it, git add dot and uh, adds the folders and git commit uh, init uh, it initialize the initial commit and this is the url of your github okay these two pushes the origin master if you found this video helpful smash that like button share it with your friends struggling with github and don't forget to subscribe to code alpha hit the bell icon so you won't miss future tutorials where we'll be build more cool projects together Keep coding, stay focused and I will see you in the next video.